Hi, my name is Christine Trevato, and I am the grooming instructor here at the Styling Pet Academy of the West Coast. And what I'm doing right now is demonstrating to Sue on how to introduce a um, puppy to clippers. Sue is one of our students, and what I am doing is rubbing the housing part of the clipper while it's on onto the puppy so to see, make sure that she could feel that the vibration isn't going to hurt her. Then I'm going to proceed to start with the pads. The whole time that I am um, doing this, I am talking very uh, quietly and softly to the puppy and just reassuring the puppy that everything is going to be all right. It's okay if the puppy wants to look just as long as she doesn't get in the way. So I have my arm there to block her head. Um, she's being actually a very good puppy considering that she is a rescue dog and uh, she didn't come from very good circumstances. She's a little uh, Shih Tzu mix, believe it or not. She's four months old. And um, see Sue over here is going to help him block her so she doesn't walk away. One of the key tricks to working with a puppy is do not um, take uh, the fact that even if a puppy is really good, don't take for granted that they will stay on the table. You never leave a puppy. Um, and you just always be prepared for a little poop and pee because <laughs> even though they're not screaming and acting up they are still nervous and it's not uncommon for them to piddle a little bit and you go real slow and um, you talk to them. Now to introduce the comb the same thing. I'm going to take the part that does the handle part and actually rub it on the dog so she just gets used to metal touching her skin um, sometimes if you go in first with the teeth and they uh, move really quickly you could poke them and that would scare them too. So you always start off with the handle first and then you start off with the teeth. And that is conclusion of how to get a puppy ready to learn how to be groomed. And thank you.